around today I will be showing you my new shoulder rig which is specifically designed for Sony FS100. Not all parts on this shoulder rig are camera specific so even if you don't have a Sony FS100 but looking for a shoulder rig you might still be interested in this review because you can buy these rigs with parts for anything from DSLRs to black magic and even red. So what got me interested in yet another shoulder rig? This is not my first one and I've had quite a nice rig before but I still decided to go for this one. Well, if you have FS100 or you know the camera well, you'll know how badly it needs a top handle. The only top handle that has been available on market up until this point was from Zakudo, which is a very nice handle, but it costs as much as some full shoulder rigs and at a price it's not for me. One day while I was looking around on eBay to see what's new, I came across this kit that had a Sony FS100 cheese plate, top handle and bottom mount also camera specific with a set of rods for just around $200 or so and I knew that I will definitely be getting that because I really wanted a handle for a long time and the cheese plate is something else that I really wanted because Sony FS100 lacks any mounting points otherwise. So by the time I made my mind about getting that rig I saw that Camtree actually came out with a full shoulder rig for Sony FS100 and with the savings I would be getting by buying all the parts together I decided that I'll go for the full rig. So before I go into actual shoulder rig I want to show you the cases that this rig came in. There are two black belly cases with custom cut foam inserts inside which not only protect everything really well but also look pretty cool too. Outside these cases are really rugged and can be locked too so it's hard to think of any better way to store and transport this rig. Coming back to the actual shoulder rig, my version of the rig came with a matte box and a follow focus, which you can see on the other side there. This is what the second case is for and if you decide to buy something like that without a matte box or full of focus it will probably come in just one case. So the matte box is Camtree MB20 carbon fiber swing away matte box but I will not be going into it in a lot of detail now because I will be reviewing it separately so you can check out that review on my YouTube channel as well. Same goes for the follow focus which is a very nice unit at its price but more about it in a separate review. Let's have a better look at the handles. As you can see on each side there are two rosettes for precise adjustment and once you decide which position you want your handle to be in, you lock it down and thanks to rosettes it's definitely not gonna go anywhere. So it's a very nice rugged way of having handles. I really like these handles, they feel very nice and solid, very professional. But my favorite feature about these handles is the quick release system that they have which allow them to be fixed in place or taken off within seconds. Let me take off the matte box to show you what I mean. Okay, so let me show you how quickly I can take off these handles. That's it. It takes literally one second to take them off. Same goes for putting them on. Just slide them in place where you want them, lock them in and that's it. They're not going anywhere. I wish there were more accessories that had the same Sort of locking system because it's very very convenient and very quick way of putting stuff on your roads. Next up I want to show you the base plate which is one of the few parts on this rig that are camera specific. This has been designed specifically for Sony FS100 and it aligns with the bottom of the camera perfectly. I think Sony FS100 has six mounting points at the bottom or something like that. So you can basically use all of them if you want because the base plate is designed specifically to fit all the holes that the camera has. The base plate is also the place for your rods and the rods themselves can be moved up and down depending on your needs and preferences. So no matter what lens you're gonna use, what Follow focus and matte box you are planning to use, you can move the rods up towards the camera or you can move them all the way down to allow more space so you will not 
get into a situation where you just can't put something in because there is not enough space or you just can't reach the lens because the rods are too low. Like I mentioned already on the top, I have the chest plate, which is again camera specific and has been designed specifically for Sony FS100. This allows me to have many more mounting points of different sizes. So if I want to put a magic arm on there, maybe extra light or something else, there are plenty of points that I can now use. On the top of the chest plate, there's a mounting bracket for the actual handle, which I already spoke about, but I just want to quickly show you that uh, it can be adjusted around up and down and you can take it to the front if you want uh, I generally just leave it just above the monitor at the back as I think it gives me the best sort of balance when I have to pick up the camera I really like this handle it doesn't seem to be a big deal but with FS100 you really need it and I'm so glad I finally have a handle and I think that I didn't mention yet is that attachment right here which is specifically made for the microphone. When using a handle, you can't use the standard microphone mount for the mic, so this replaces it pretty well. So moving slightly towards the back now, I have the EVF mount right there on the side, towards the back. You can mount this anywhere because this is based on 15 millimeter rods, so you can mount it to the front, to the back, Anywhere really, you can put it on any rig. I think you can buy this separately as well. You can adjust the mount in and out, depending where you want it to be. You can then adjust the whole mount up and down, right here. You can change the angle. Depending where you are, you can basically find the position that you want. This mount made a big difference when I was using this rig on my recent music video shoot. It allowed me to have my Zakuda UF right next to the camera body rather than at the back of it which meant that the camera itself was almost on my shoulder with the EVF to the side which is more or less the same position of the EVF that you would have on an ENG broadcast style cameras this is the best way to operate a handheld camera because the whole rig becomes less front heavy so you don't get as tight which means you can get better shots Moving quickly towards the back, we have the shoulder pad here, which is, as you can see, has very nice ergonomic shape. There are some adjustments on top that will allow it to go a bit to the left or to the right, but I decided to leave it alone because it was absolutely fun for the kind of rig that I was going for, which is a straight rig. Right at the back, we have the V-mount battery plate for the V-mount batteries, which is a great source of power for your monitor accessories and compatible cameras. But more than that, it acts really nicely as a counterweight, especially when you adjust it accordingly. This has lots of adjustment. You can have it up there like that. You can have it all the way there. You can even have it right at the back below, just behind your shoulder when uh, the shoulder rig is on your shoulder. So you're taking the best out of this um, weight that the battery has and bringing it all the way back behind your shoulder. Overall, I think it's a really nice rig with lots of great features. Not only it's great for handheld operation, but also when on tripod, it adds some nice weight to it. So panning and tilting is much smoother than you would have on a lightweight configuration. I'm really enjoying what this rig has to offer. It's definitely a keeper for me and I recommend this version of Hunt rigs for other FS100 owners. Hopefully this review has been useful to all of you guys and I'll see you in the next video.